question tunajiuliza kwa hii episode ni um, education environment penye mtoto anasomea whether ni primary school ama secondary ama hata ni college ama university does it really affect the mental health ya mtoto na vile anakuwa na what this kid end up, end up, uh, ends up becoming ndio sasa ni hizi swali nataka tujiulize hapa hivi kama umesoma public schools za Kenya ama private school or uh, informal schools nyinyi mnazijua vile ziko whether ni Nairobi ama uh, different uh, whether ni western Kenya Rift Valley you can already tell what i'm asking so i just wanted to in your honest opinion based on the little experiences do you think it affects the mental health of a child vile anakuwa Yes, I think it affects uh-huh. the mental health of a child because how I am taught as a child is how I will grow up understanding. And if I grow, if I grow up understanding a negative perspective of how everything is, that is what will stick with me in my mind. And if that sticks with me in my mind, I will grow up, grow up and then I will learn so many things about the world <laughs> and then I will know this was not how I was supposed to grow up. I was not supposed to grow up feeling deficient. I was not supposed to grow up feeling unworthy. I wasn't supposed to and that's why many people suffer depression because they have finally gotten to that level where they are so used to what they grew up knowing that right now it is impacting them in their real society. Mm-hmm. So I feel like if the environment of education is better than the mental health cases that we are going through right now the depressions, the people killing themselves, the mental instability that is there right now would reduce with such a mega and huge way mm-hmm. like example university students who end up not eating and they sleep hungry and then do relationship issues and stuff <laughs> like that i feel like that is also included in the in the university environment mm-hmm. because it is in the environment of university that people are assumed to take care of themselves mm-hmm. at, at that age and they cannot take care of themselves because they are busy studying at the same time you expect them to earn money to make it in life and you know, they can't provide for themselves food mm-hmm. so if they can't provide for themselves food they end up going through mental issues so i feel like if the education system is fixed it then be better. it should so reduce mental do, dollar man when you talk about education environment tunaongelelea nini exactly but haja tu hizi vitu zenyewe hata pia hata watu mnaweza tutaja hizi vitu zote sio ndio is it the building like a school okay you in a building poor or which environment are we talking about up in intel in general yeah um i think when we are talking about uh, education enviro- environment and uh, relating it to mental health for uh, children adolescents and, and young people who are who are still in school we are talking about uh, the school environment where this child spends most of the time because still a child is being expected to to go to school it means the 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 longest time of the year and the longest time of the day this child spends the time in school in those cases for those who go to school they spend the longest time with um, within the school environment and the school environment consists of the teacher um, and uh, the teacher and the other subordinate staff who assist in growing or shaping this child uh towards uh, transition to to adulthood and so that has, has a very uh, great impact on how on the mental health of of, of this child because um, apart from the academic things that uh, are impacted to this child mm. there are also other social many social things that um, uh, are being done within that particular environment they are happening they are they're happening target uh, being targeted targetedly or uh, happening um, without without any plan because you're in that environment if you're here the things that you observe and learn and and, and you didn't know th- in, in the previous day and uh, and you know today mm. so that's the, the general environment and it really affects either positively or, uh, or negatively on how this child grows mm. how this child perceives things how this child observes or or or, or, or observes him or herself it affects the confidence and self esteem even as they move to adolescence and and other things oh, okay so sir yeah. osano mm-hmm. um, um, this kenyan schools vizuri sana do you think food matters in school chakula ni kitu ya maana hivi na five question yeah probably do uh, food is like the ecosystem ambayo inakangwa shule like mm. the skit the kids in school wazoku soma mm. cuz you see when you asked about uh, how should a school look like mm. i was just thinking uh, in of the schools that I've, I have been to mm-hmm. and comparing to my friends about maybe nafanya kazi nao mm-hmm. sometimes you know we just sit down we chat so nakwambia ah sisi we, we used to go with the school bus we used to be served smokies sometimes pizza ilikuwa na boat tulikuwa tunatupa pizza ilikuwa ina boat na sasa hivi ndio ukikula unapiga nayo picha naweka sasa so 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 i was just thinking of that story kasema 
I think uh, for me at school it's the, the infrastructure. Mm -hmm. Kuza kuna vile shule yetu mimi maybe desk leo nimeka hapa kesho sina kiti yangu mm. alafu nitakuwa tested ndamse mimi akaenda shule pale cha yake iko constant mm. mimi msije kula kitu mdomo nimekuja mm. shule bado ni gideri ukule mimi uko na alsas bado uanze kuendesha mm. so there 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 are so many things then uh, the biggest thing that uh, for me i think it's uh, it really affects our swing sana it's because also i think it's just the poverty because mm -hmm. if all of our parents had uh, like pesa mm. wale tunge some the best schools mm -hmm. but think of this scenario shule maybe ni shule kwa mtani shule ya mabati shule karibu maybe na ghetto mali maybe niko class but nasikia bongo mm. niko class but nasikia na maandamano pale katika kero limo nilikuwa nasikia niko class yes kwenye babu yule alikuwa amemshikwa like you see also the environment of the school is how how safe is the environment mm. from the economical environment mm. so umetaja infrastructure ukataja mitaja walimu wa pia umetaja mambo ya hiyo hiyo to generate the safety of this school ndio and also now let's talk about even the supportive staff mm -hmm. as in the eco the eco system of the of the of the school mm -hmm. like how is the school you see there are schools that unapata mambo na discipline respect how do supportive staff talk to children mm -hmm. there are schools that may become inyasi fai kanyagwe if it were maybe should tulisoma mimi na aboka if you were to do something hata ule msi ambao ni gardener ama msakosha cho am i we we even have instances of uh, the school bus driver mm. beating people <laughs> in the bus for just you know get on the bus we see the 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 other schools are yeah, we we see us because of the car so to me i think the biggest the biggest thing is just the environment because uh, it's only the environment that, and the genes that affect how mm. a person becomes mm. so if uh, people had uh, better schools if mm. they have maybe the same uh, level mm. you could have like super uh, super people like in terms of maybe the, the grades so you see there's a few samples maybe hawana let me say like uh, labs mm -hmm. there's so that people have labs mm -hmm. but maybe they are just so i think infrastructure is the biggest is the is the biggest thing mm -hmm. in terms of the ma materials that kusoma mm -hmm. let's talk about food let's talk about accommodation mm -hmm. let's talk about the population in the class mm -hmm. is the teacher even able to manage the number of students hakuna vile mwalimu anafunzwa na walimu like 10 hapa hivi braiba na marusinga makini school and it's about compare with the teacher mimi kwanza maybe alianguka grade as a friend said maybe the teacher wanted to be somebody else mm. but not because of the grade that he and or she got and the teaching was the last option oh, okay. so kwanza maybe happened your course mm. maybe mwanafunzi ya kuje class ndio kuna frustrations and bombs zake kama hizo so i think infrastructure it's just the biggest uliambiwa uh, na mwalimu omba kesho nisiamke na mguu ile ama ni si ama yani kuna wale wale mnajuanga sisi kuna kisha fulani akivaa ni kubaya sana sio so um laban okay laban acha nikuulize tu swali ya maybe this one specifically for you should it be our aim that we have money to take our children to best schools or should it be our aim to have good schools across the whole country it is our right mm -hmm. we when we when we get to vote mm -hmm. Weka sauti. Mm -hmm. When you get to vote, what mm -hmm. do you expect from leaders? We vote for you so that we get delivery that is of of quality. Yes. And the services that you get to be offered are uh, equally proportional to the quality of the vote that we did cast mm -hmm. the ballot. Mm -hmm. So we should not be begging for to have to have schools that are of uh, good quality. Mm -hmm. The leaders ought to build schools mm -hmm. that we can for sure trust that the government is working mm -hmm. at kwa big because mm -hmm. they were begging us to vote mm -hmm. so we should not beg them to deliver for the services and mm -hmm. we should not have we, I, i don't subscribe to the to the manifestos that uh, i'll build good schools mm. i'll build bridges that is your work talk of build build talk of creating jobs mm. that we, we can unaona mtu akikuja na kuangalia ku create jobs that is good but building schools mm -hmm. that is your work mm -hmm. get to deliver okay sawa sawa mimi ndo rusha tu one uh, two rounds of questions actually moja uh, ni share with me your most interesting experience then you share ski about tu vile shule me handle mtoto ama tu vile ule handle as a person una uli feel hii kitu ilikuwa fact and maybe it may take so much time to ku fight it back but finally we manage anyone up with then now we come to the solution part because atukitaja kuna mambo za infrastructure sawa shule inaweza kuona ya gorofa mkwadi na lift shule but does the service vile anasema ndani shule matter yes it matters ndio what are some of the interesting experiences in mkwana as in your schools 
I, 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 I even talk about um, schools. Mm. Uh, the, the biggest drivers of the schools are the teachers. Mm. Uh, it's the teachers that dictate. Because uh, in comp we say gig or garbage in, garbage out. Mm -hmm. So the service delivery that is being offered, the mode of teaching that is being offered to the people, uh, it's uh, what brings out or what uh, makes these people at the end of the day. Because mm -hmm. what you do day in, day out, it becomes a mode of character and a mode of character. So we have about teachers. So for mm -hmm. me, the, 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 like the experience that I ever had in school, because maybe you know the school I went to, only more. Because I had. Uh, these people probably oh, don't know. know. Mm -hmm. Yeah, because maybe I'm from high school, Tatu, mm -hmm. in, hi in high school. Kwa sababu pia ulikuwa na tabia mbaya ukijakwaje tu form 1 uh, shule yake form 2 shule yake form 3 shule yake so nilisoma ni, ni, ni nimesoma Moi school mm -hmm. nimesoma shule fani St Joseph Salamano then now I came to Olympic but you know I used to be a good boy before mm -hmm. <laughs> mwingine so before kujana na chama na kuwekea kitu ukabadilika so for me the the, 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 the like this one experience that I ever had in school mm -hmm. and I felt like that uh, this was the best school to this time that we went to Mpesa Foundation Academy mm -hmm. Then I compared the Empress Foundation Academy from the gates mm. to the loose. Any, mm. Even how they watch, even from the gates, how Masoja, how they speak to people, Habarizenu, <laughs> teachers, what you know, our school, you know, we don't normally have laptops, we do things. Yeah, you, yeah, you, even you, compare, you, know, so, as a, you know, I was just looking at, uh, you know, also, pe pe people say, can I polish Shule or when he come flash or empty? The people that are supposed to make you the person that you want to be, it's the teachers. Mm -hmm. So I in terms of maybe in terms of maybe teaching simply because the passion yake so to me i felt that uh, some other schools some other teachers so kwa kweli kwa shocking it was shocking because uh, oh. shule na vile it was not even like uh, I, I i felt shule yetu ilikuwa ni kama ni kongamano tu la wana kijiji it was never so una fa ushukuru because some of us students tulisomea ukweli because kama i think baby class nilisomea nursery na pre unit 2 years later ilikuja katani kwa butchery I think okay I can't trace back I can't even say I said to the most is for an alumni association yeah yeah, yeah my kindergarten yeah me okay siwezi kumbuka then kama iko so at least yako at least yako yuko um uh -huh. your experience okay first I attended a private primary school private kindergarten uh, a national high school with me my experience na what you call bad mm -hmm. not si kubwa sana but uh, to my advantage mm -hmm. uh, all the time all my education life of uh, sijaika sijaika press down it uko shule ndogo you get wow. and uh, by that imeni build the teachers that were teaching me are uh, only the best. Mm -hmm. The schools I attended, they are the best. Unlike, <laughs> unlike. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, with me, with me, mm. the teachers, walimu ni wale una look up to. Walimu principal ni chief principal. You get? So you know, zile shule mko na chief principal na mko na director. School. Which school? Na ungelea nyambari ya boys. Ndele, 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 time. So, ata principal, ana driver, ki drive hii, tukudia shule, you can look up to that teacher and say, nataka kuwa kaa wili. Principal winya kuna drive hii, itakia shule. Sisi wetu gerega luka mandika for sale. <laughs> so, so to you, Walimunyo look very inspiring. Ata mukiangalia maisha au yeni ni maisha ungeta ungeta kuna tamani. Walimunye mshara ke ana kuambia with me I, I, I make calls and uh, na ungea direct na president. Wosi Walimu kioko na Walimu tom na kioko apa YouTube. At his years, you are taught in Boston. <laughs> okay, but anyway, I think um, I think his point is straight home uh, to him. And at my son, he should have because even my son, you are limo, you are going lead. Ni maisha that you can admire. See, le my son, you are limo, you are regret to come, you are limo. You experience? My, I think my experience is uh, for him is the school. Mm. For me, it was uh, the good experience, and maybe inspiration was from one high school teacher compared to the other teachers within the same school. Okay. We had one uh, teacher who volunteered, first mm -hmm. of all. Mm -hmm. He was a volunteer from 
Strathmore University mm -hmm. volunteered to come and teach uh, at our school and his way of teaching was slightly different to how others other teachers were the, our usual teachers uh, were teaching because he used examples um, he also used to inspire uh, the students more and and even when you do a mistake uh, he, he used he used um, satirical ways of rectifying you um, you find uh, him mobilizing boys and speaking to them asking them when when you go to the toilet as a good person you shouldn't leave evidence of what you've done to you've done in the toilet mm. yeah and, yes, okay. politely, and, and, and people could, could, you could see the kind of respect that the students had uh, towards him, mm. yet he was so close to, to, the, to, to the students, would uh, speak a language that uh, relates to, to students, he would even speak Sheng with them, uh, hang out, and, and that was quite inspiring, and, and you'd find even those notorious students uh, in school who disrespect other teachers mm. when they come before him they try to behave like <laughs> good people mm. and, 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 and very uh, yes there's okay. a, a, a nice kind of culture mm. around him yeah. okay and I, I think to to begin <laughs> because uh many kids join from one you are likely now to be using a flash toilet for the first time Unajadi mwalimu na ku remind tafadhali usiharibu kitu amnanga kwenye. Unajadi kwa naongelesha vizuri tafadhali don't do this. You know politely. Yeah, po okay, I did the word politely. Yeah. Okay, that was a different case. Must you experience? Um, my experience was that in my high school um I wouldn't complain about the teachers. Mm -hmm. I wouldn't Okay, uh, pardon me. <laughs> I wouldn't complain about the infrastructure or stuff like that, but the one thing that actually um impacted not impacted me that influenced the mm. person i am today in a negative way was that my school was really strict mm. and there are so many things that they would make us get so scared of that i i feel like after after they, they gave me mental health issues mm. when i completed high school Yes, it was a very good environment. It was very safe in the sense that they, they tried to make it all God-oriented and stuff like that. It was really a good school. Mm. But I feel like um, I wouldn't really blame the teachers, but to some extent I would. Because there are some times when the teachers would put so much pressure on you. And for me, that also includes the environment of the school because they put so much pressure on you in terms of academics, in terms of your personality, in terms of your character, in terms of your thinking, in terms of you know, there's just so much pressure on you as a human being. Mm. And that is when actually I got to get this habit of I've not yet done this. Mm. I'm supposed to have already done this. I mean, I'm just a form two student, but I'm not supposed to be here. This is I'm supposed to be further ahead. So I, it is it is I feel like yes they were trying so hard to empower people to empower the young people but I feel like they they, they got so much into it that it was lost in the midst of it that after high school I had to seek help for mental health um mm. issues that I wouldn't attribute them to when I was younger mm. I would attribute them to being in my high school. Okay, so sir, to pick my coffee, yeah, Last round of questions, I love to Malize. If, um, you know, this show, this episode that we're doing are all about 2022 general elections, mm -hmm. and we do feel that every conversation must be talked about by leaders who are contesting to leaders. New Kweli, whether it is environment, whether it is education and everything. If there's one thing that must be changed on how education is um, given in this country and how schools look like and how environment look like, what is one thing that you'd like to tell a politician who is watching from the presidential candidates to gubernatorial candidates to the MPs who are going to be in parliament for us who are going to talk for the children who are also watching these sessions? What is one thing that they have to put in order? Um, or what are the things that you, you want to hear them talk about about the education sector? Please, in less than a minute, Kilamtu. Yeah, for me, mm -hmm. I think uh, I'll just tell them Mazem School FSIA CDF because I have lived in the era of... Um, uh, the late mm -hmm. uh, Ken, yes. our uh, late MP. I saw like uh, Kibra Zamani used to live in my shakuna, but uh, mm. when that guy was in office, 
that's when I truly understood that uh, serikali wewe inapenda kusaidia. Mm-hmm. So to me I have seen people uh, like him, I've seen Muhammad Ali, I've seen Kandi Nyoro that are doing things in their places. I've seen other people from uh, other places that are doing uh, maendeleo ya mashule mm-hmm. uh, with the Yopesa CDF. So to me, I'll just tell them just to, you know, when you're given, if you are a leader, just be transparent, be trustworthy. If you're given funds to do something, do uh, complete a project. Because actually, some of them actually went through these same, same schools. Okay. Maybe they are children, but so they just were school of CDF. So, so, was school of CDF, were you working for guys? Um, what should be done about education? So, the quality, the quality of a nation uh, relies on the quality of uh, its citizens. Okay. Invest in education, and by that, the, the quality of the voters will have been upgraded, and we shall have the nation getting to be built by the quality of minds that lie in the ballot. Thank you. Sante sana, Fati Nato Dolaman. Yes, for me to the politician is that I'd uh, want to hear or listen their kind of plans or investment that they would put in place when they get into uh, government mm, about regarding, education, right? mm. uh, uh, mm. regarding education. And and on the same consequently, I'd ask voters, us as voters, to vote in leaders who are showing great interest and clear plans on how they're going to invest properly in, in, in education that has um, that has uh, interest of improving the health and well-being of uh, adolescent and young people. Okay, so what's up? Masi? I would say balance the skills of private and public schools. Let it not be that since you went to a public school, we will reduce the cut-off points. Since you went to a public school, you didn't have infrastructure. Since you went to a public school, you suffered mental health issues. The the responsibility lies on the government to ensure that public schools receive the utmost best. So you as someone who is aspiring to be a leader of this nation, your first priority should be your children. And if your children can, you can actually take your children to a public school and be contented with the kind of education that they are receiving, then that means that you have done your work. But if you feel like you, it is necessary for you to take them to a, pub, a private school for them to receive good quality education, then you're lacking on your part as someone who's aspiring to be a leader or as a, someone who's already a leader. So balance the skills of private and public schools. Okay, generally to apigie makofi. Kwanza to apigie makofi. Um, the question to the, to, this, to the person viewing and all of us, do you believe and that's the big question. Do you believe that the environment where the child is educated affects the mental status of that child? Do you believe? Yes. From yes. teachers to how parents talk to a child to the yes. food in school and all that? Yes. Mm-hmm. Do you think feeding program should be something that is, should be a compulsory program in school? Yes. yes. Um, quality education? Yes. Uh, I mean, safety in schools? Mm-hmm. Yes. Yeah, because someone was telling me that most public schools in Kenya, it is so easy even to kidnap a child. Mm-hmm. It is so easy just to get in a Kenyan public school and get you a scary, 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 and get and I mean, uh, it, is, it is a bit silly um, and so bad for a nation that is over 50 years old. I know um, maybe we've not really achieved much, but I think children should be the most protected yeah. things in our lives. Yeah. Yeah. To apigie makofi ya santeni sana for this panel. You may have... Please subscribe to our channel.